The Deep Deuce District on the edge of Bricktown is filled with trendy restaurants, apartments, and high-end brownstones. But it was once an instrumental part of Oklahoma City's black history until I-235 was built right through the middle. Construction forced out many of the families who live there and left behind little more than memories. News 9's Angelicia Bruton has this story. I never knew that I was walking in history or around history. 1920s Deep Deuce was a thriving black community. It was exciting. It was amazing. It was culturally enriching. It was a lot of things to a lot of people. During the day, black owned medical offices, theaters and other businesses bustled with customers. At night, the soulful sounds of blues and jazz filled the streets. Greats like Charlie Christian, Duke Ellington, and Billie Holiday all played and stayed here. They were only allowed to stay in uh, these black-owned hotels, you know, uh, eat at those restaurants. Uh, so that's what this area held for us. So it was a safety, a, a safe zone for people that were traveling through. The safe space rose out of the Jim Crow era. An Oklahoma City map from 1933 displays the segregated areas in Oklahoma City. The red line shows the division mandated by city ordinance between black and white neighborhoods. It was an economy in itself, you know, Second Street. It was African Americans supported each other and, and they created their own economy. Homeowners in the area became leaders in the community fighting against racial injustice. Many of the meetings for the cause were held here at the Calvary Baptist Church. Martin Luther King Jr. was uh, graduated from seminary at an early age. He stood right here in this pulpit uh, and preached a sermon. Bob Davis was the former preacher. Strategizing for a number of things that happened during the civil rights uh, movement. Uh, Clara Looper and others who were a part of that uh, came to this spot to uh, prepare their, those students who did sit-ins downtown at uh, various places. But over time, the buzz around Deep Deuce began to fizzle out and developers noticed. In the 70s, Urban Renewal began working with the Oklahoma Department of Transportation for the construction of I-235, which would go right through Northeast 2nd Street. Urban Renewal was also known as Urban Removal. It was about removing neighborhoods, as they say, for the public good. Gary Royal was the neighborhood president back then. That was a cleaners. Residents and civil rights leaders tried to stop the project, but after years of fighting in the mid-1980s, construction of I-235 began. Hundreds were impacted directly and indirectly. As a community, we were impacted. We lost. It's in here, it's in your heart, it's in your soul, and it can't be replaced. So uh, there still is a sense of loss. Families were moved to the JFK neighborhood and many businesses were either demolished or forced to close. I don't think they completely understood the impact to neighborhoods that that had, or you know, that it, it had at the time and continues to have, that they disrupted places where people grew up, where their grandparents lived, where they went to church all of those things, and, and I think that had a really detrimental effect on particularly the black community in Oklahoma City. According to the 2020 U.S. Census, the once thriving black community is now home to about 1,000 white people and nearly 90 black people. But that's what was all here. Homes, houses, people. There's just nothing else remaining. If you walk through the area now, residents say there's barely anything left that resembles the deep deuce they loved. Upscale apartments now line the streets of the neighborhood and what wasn't demolished is now a restaurant or a hotel. Folk that occupy the spaces down there now, they don't even really know the history. Unfortunately, that is the past that we inherit here at Urban Renewal, but we do work very hard today to try to create some reconciliation and repair some of that damage that was done in the past. It's just that, you know, you, don't, you shouldn't have to tear everything down and move everybody out in order to show some progress. It looks good. Families that used to live here are not here, though. It's okay, though. We move forward. It's life.